questions that came in. Thank you guys so much for, again, keeping this Q&A going. It is some of the best parts of my day. Thank you guys for being engaged all around the world. Uh, question, one question came from a wife. The other question came from a husband. And of course, this is a question about relationships and marriage and how I feel the quarantine, uh, has an impact and how, how has it impacted, uh, my own marriage and how has it from the wife, um, the woman had asked me, how has the quarantine, uh, impacted my marriage in a positive way? <laughs> and of course, from the dude, uh, he said, Rock, I got married the same time as you guys did last August. How do I keep this shit going? This quarantine is killing me. <laughs> I need help. Exclamation, 10 exclamation points. Well, Dr. Johnson is here to help you. Since I have my uh, degree uh, in experience, certainly not, <laughs> not my doctorate, but so here's the thing that I can share with you again, just through my own experiences. Um, I have found that the um, that the quarantine has had a very positive effect on um, my relationship and my marriage. Certainly, my relationship with my daughters, uh, who are two. Uh, Tia just turned two today, um, April seventeenth, and um, and of course my other daughter, um, Jasmine, because we're here in the house every single day. But it's also had a really positive effect on my relationship with my wife, um, and. You know, we get snippy with each other. Uh, we argue. I mean, there was, I gotta be honest with you. You know, when we, when this thing first started, the first two weeks of quarantine for me, I was really wobbly at times and I was trying to get my shit together and try and understand it because I was just also thinking, trying to think 10 steps ahead. What does the future look like? What is the new normal gonna look like when I go back, work, school, my household? What, you know, so there's a lot of, sh there's a lot of shit that we're all thinking about. Husbands, wives, you name it. We're all thinking about this. So, it's a lot of pressure um, and I, I have found that with my wife and you know so the first couple of weeks I was a little wobbly and I found myself consistently apologizing to Lauren um, about every other day hey I'm sorry this is you know this is not my best week <laughs> this is not my best week this is not my best day thank you for being patient with me so we get snippy with each other but I have also seen that through our snippiness and through uh, you know our arguments that may just happen just like that, go from zero to 10 very quickly, we also really make sure that we still try to stay aware as a husband and wife. And this goes for husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, best friends, whoever you're locked down with. Um, we try to understand that you know this is still an incredible, even though things are quiet and the pace has really slowed down for all of us around the world, it's still an incredible amount of pressure because we just don't know and it's the fear of the unknown um, and how that can impact the relationship, how can how that can impact mental wellness. So we try to go easy on each other. We try to make things light, not too judgy, and she's the best. Um, I'll give you guys an example of the snippiness that kind of happened and us getting through it. So just yesterday morning, we were having breakfast and it was just her and I in the room, in our bedroom, having a little quiet breakfast uh, as the sun was coming up, trying to beat the babies up. Um, before they got up <clears throat> and she said something, I said something. And then I, she, I, I can't remember what it was. It was something stupid, uh, that I interpreted that way. And I said something that was just really snippy. And then it escalated from here to here, just like that. And she intelligently, cause she has great EQ practice, that emotional intelligence. It's so important. She just, she's like, you know what? I'm going to walk away. She takes her breakfast and she goes in the bathroom. And I'm just left there in the chair and I'm kind of stewing and I'm thinking to myself, well, see, you ruined it today, didn't you? You, <laughs> you could have had a great day. So, of course, that was my ego talking. Um, and about 15 minutes later, I go in the bathroom and I'm, um, I'm intent with not saying a word. Uh, so I grab my shaver and I'm getting ready to shave my face. I grab my shaver and I start shaving my face and I could see her in the mirror. And the moment I start shaving my face, she goes, she's eating and she goes, oh, by the way, I used that shaver to shave the dog's balls last night. <laughs> now, but wait, I didn't crack, right? I still stayed in it. I no sold it. I'm just shaving. I said, is that right? She goes, yeah. She takes another bite of her breakfast. And I said, well, that's funny because I had the dog shit in your breakfast this morning. <laughs> we laughed so fucking hard. And I, excuse my language, by the way, there's young kids who are watching this. We laughed 
so hard. And immediately it just broke that tension, that just silly tension. We got right back into, oh my God, what are we even arguing about? It was nothing, it was so stupid. We're just, we're getting through this thing. We're getting through the quarantine, come on, we could do this and we're better than this. Um, and you know, she came up to me, she gave me a big hug and she goes, hey look, she goes, I'm sorry, we just went through that silly shit. And I said, I said, me too. And I said, but hey, and I grabbed her by the shoulders, like really earnest. And I looked her deep in the eyes and I said, hey, I said, you're not wrong. And she kind of looked at me and I said, no, no, no. I said, you're not wrong. I said, baby, you're not wrong. You're, um, you're just not used to being right. <laughs> and I couldn't keep it going that long. She, we laughed again so hard. And um, so the point of this is to let you guys know that we're going through the dumb shit too, you know, and, and we try to make sure that it doesn't get too heavy. The arguments don't get so too heavy or sludgy uh, in this thing. And, you know, I talk to all my boys too, where we have our, you know, our daily and sometimes our weekly calls about how everybody's going through it. We take a mental inventory check. Lauren and I take a mental inventory check. I say, how are you getting through? How are you feeling? Uh, you hanging on all right? You know, and again, it's, it's good to check in with your partners too, or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is. And also what I have found, what works for us, and I'll share this with you, is now's the time to really try and do your best to communicate and articulate your feelings as best you can. And even even if you're not a good uh, communicator, and I, at one time, I was uh, the shits at communicating uh, many, many moons ago, but I got a lot better at it. Um, because there's real power and value at, 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 in, in communicating, especially being really direct with your feelings. Now's the time to do that. If you need to walk away, if you need to take a walk alone, if you need some alone time, some music time, meditate time, if you need to get a little physical outside, do your, you know, whatever exercises you're able to do outside, I would recommend that you do that because, you know, nobody's a mind reader. And especially during this time, it's really, really important to do that. So we, we went through that yesterday and then last night, we poured ourselves a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of glasses of Terramana. We had a nice little toast of gratitude. And then we started practicing making babies again. You're welcome. Uh, showed her why they call me the rock. Listen, all right. I, <laughs> this, she's going to pull me aside for that comment. Uh, she's like, what are you doing? Um, all right. This is almost eight minutes of your life. You're never going to get back. Thank you for your questions. I love these Q and A's. They're some of the best parts of my day. And, um, and I hope this helps you guys around the world. It's not easy. The shit is not easy. You're locked down. You know, you're with your part, your partner, your loved one, uh, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, and I get it. It's not easy, but, uh, but we're going to go through, we're going to get through this on the other side. And hopefully my marriage and your marriage and all your relationships are going to be better, uh, on the other side of this thing. All right. Most importantly, um, stay healthy and stay safe. And